Hello and welcome back. I have fun things to show you. I have been slowly putting together our apartment. We moved in about two years ago and it was me and my sister and we had never lived away from our parents before. So we really only ever had our own bedroom furniture. So we've been slowly furnishing our apartment and it is coming together very cute. I got a few things from Walmart that I will show you that I ordered and then I just stopped at Home Goods today on my way back from work and I will show you the things that I got. First, there's this little mirror over on this wall that I just don't think really goes with our stuff. It's just not the cutest. So I wanted to get a cheap mirror. This is it. This is you. Say hello, everybody. So yes, this is the little mirror. And I just thought it'd be kind of cute and vintage-y looking and just kind of the vibes. But yeah, it's super cute. It's kind of like distressed, weathered, bronzy, gold. And it just looks like a cute little vintage mirror. I feel like it looks kind of expensive. You can feel it and it's definitely like light and cheap. But if we take good care of it, I think it'll last. And it looks really cute with the house. Then our laundry hamper in the kitchen is just literally this like metal one and it has weird coiling on the handles so it hurts to pick it up and it's ugly so i found this one that is very cute it was more than i wanted to spend this one was probably the most expensive thing i got today this one was i think like 60 but it's exactly what we need in terms of the size of it and the shape of it where it's going to go and this one is definitely good quality you can feel it it's like something that'll last for a long time so even when i move out i'll definitely keep this too then we have a cute little blanket ladder and i wanted to get one more blanket to put on it and this one was on sale it's just kind of like a little western quilt kind of look and it goes with the rest of our living room and i just thought it was really cute and cozy first of all valentine's day is coming up I'm going to show you the Valentine's basket that I made for my family, but my mom has a pug, so I saw this mug, and I just felt like she needed it for Valentine's Day. So, anyways, this is this, and that is that. Then, we have this section under our TV that has all of these cords out and about, just like askew, and I don't like it. And so I got a little basket to hide them in. And it's green. It's really the only color that we have in the living room is like some shades of green. So I thought it'd be cute to just add a little bit of color and warmth back into the room so it's not all just shades of beige. And this one is a really good muted green. And then I also saw this, and this is kind of a more frivolous purchase, but it was really cute and I thought it would look good in the living room. It's just this little like, palm frond shape candle and I don't think I'll ever light it because it's too pretty for that but I just thought it would look really cute on the coffee table and kind of tie in some of the colors these are the throw pillows just some basic they're very plush and comfy so I just thought these would be good they're basic color but they're I think they're gonna look way better yeah I'm already holding them up and they already look way better than what we currently have so I'm very excited I'm going to start putting some of this stuff together and I'll show you a little tour of what I've done so far. So first, this is the mirror that we got and it's a full length mirror that we put in the corner. Everything's a little bit of a mess right now because I left everything out, but I'm going to be fixing that soon. But we put it in the corner and then I put this, I don't know if this is like an ottoman, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's a boucle material. And I put this with my record player on it. And I think I'm going to move the records out of the basket. It's cute, but I think it's just a little too busy. But I have my records there, and I'll probably prop them up against the stool here. And these, I got the little one from the Dollar Tree. And the big one I got at Goodwill, and it was a beige color. And I spray painted it bronze to match. And I think it's really cute. I do need to get a candlestick, but that's a later project then this is where all the cords are hidden so this hat is hiding them all and that's what this is for the hat is cute but again i feel like it just looks a little too busy and a little bit out of place so boom this is the mirror that we're replacing because it's just not the vibes then this is the blanket ladder 
that I'm gonna add a blanket to. And these are the pillows that we're replacing. And then I'll show you the hamper. So this is the ugly hamper. You're ugly. But we have this cute little shelf. And I think it'll look cute with the black basket. And then I can't remember if I showed this in another video, but I got this antique desk from someone on Facebook Marketplace and it's really cool. I love it so much. I originally got it for the record player and I put the record player here and then the records fit perfectly inside the actual desk portion, but I feel like it looks better as a side table. And then I have some coffee table books that I got at Goodwill. I'm pretty sure I have shown these before. And then this lamp that I also got at Goodwill and this painting that I, or not painting, but this frame photo print, I don't know. This I also got at Goodwill and I think we're gonna put it up here. My sister actually painted this, but I think it's just like a little too small for the size of the wall. And I think we're gonna put that there with like some faux plants and things. And then this is our little coffee table sitch. a way to make this look a little bit better in the room i flipped the cushion so now this more suede texture is on the outside and then through this throw that was on my bed on it i'll probably get another throw for my bed but i feel like it kind of ties in the colors and looks a lot better than it did Hello and happy whatever day. Hopefully this phone does not fall because I am driving. I'm scared, I don't wanna do it, but it should go now. Yeah, okay. Oh, I knew it. It is Valentine's Day and I am on my way home to do a little Galentine's with my mom and sister. And I made little baskets. It's gonna be me, my mom, and sister. And we got a little heart-shaped pizza and some salad kit. And then also I got just a few snacks and some stuff to make some fun drinks that I'll show you. And I got stuff for little Valentine baskets for us all. So when I get home, I'm gonna get those ready. 
and change into something comfy and then we're just gonna have dinner and watch the bachelor that we've been saving and i am very excited okay let's see if i can make this turn. so we've learned that i cannot turn and keep the phone where it needs to be i'm gonna stop filming until i get home and show you everything then because i'm sure the lighting and the audio and the overall angles just are not good okay so it is basket time i got home and changed into some comfy bike shorts and the same sweater and we put the pizza in the oven so i'm just going to get our baskets put together and i'll show you everything i got in them these are the three little baskets just cute pinky kind of fun barbie vibes and then i got these little sparkly hearts is just like basket fillers some Reese's hearts because that is my sister's favorite candy and honestly probably one of mine too and then some pink Hershey's kisses and little bags of boom chicka pop for each one then I got my mom this little mug I had ordered us three of these candles but when they shipped one of them came in broken so at first I was just not gonna take one and just give one to my mom and sister but then I saw that mug and I thought she'd like it a lot better. So that's what she's going in hers. I got some conversation hearts for something a little nostalgic. And I found these cute little cat erasers at New Seasons and they're just little pink, cutie, little, I just thought they were adorable. That takes up literally the whole bottom. Do you see that? So I think I might do the Boom Chicka Pop first. Okay, so this is like the base, and then I think I'm gonna fill everything else around it. It's already March, so clearly I need to step it up a little bit, but it is a fun day today. Well, it's not really anything special compared to other days, but I am in a good mood for no reason, but I'm going to make some pancakes and I have just set up my patio furniture. It is, I would say like 90% completed there's a few pieces of furniture that me and my sister want to switch out eventually but 
Other than that, like everything is technically furnished. And then I also got a lot of packages that I ordered and I also went to Goodwill and got a lot of fun stuff that I'm going to show you. So this is going to be a fun video for sure. Also, this is the project I'm going to do immediately after breakfast, but I got a stick and peel backsplash. So I'm really excited to do that today. I'm going to put it just on the wall of the kitchen and I found this color online and it's like the perfect color because it has the gray tones to match the cabinets because there's not really much I can do about the cabinets but I really don't like the gray cabinets so we're just working with it but then it has like the warm tones of everything else in our apartment so it kind of makes everything so it kind of ties everything together and I'm really excited about it and tonight I'm going dancing per usual sister is coming with me today which is really fun me out but it's still nice and cold so it's not too hot and then i also put my record player on just have a cozy slow morning and i already got ready for the day which for some reason sometimes i love getting ready like i love putting on makeup and doing my hair and it's like a fun activity but sometimes it just feels like a chore and so i'm happy to just have it out of the way and then in case i also do need to go to work today because i may for just a couple hours then i'm ready ahead of time but I always use the Kodak protein pancakes. I also went to the Nike employee store that's in Oregon because my friend had a pass. So we were able to get a lot of good stuff there that I'll show you too. I'm wearing one of the little workout tops under the sweatshirt for when I get too warm inevitably. I'll put that in the hall too. But you love me, lovely lady May. Sadie, she tore up the bag. Okay, I think it looks really, really good. Honestly, it looks way better than I expected. It definitely doesn't look professionally done or anything like that, but it was a lot easier to get these on than I thought it was gonna be. And overall, I think it just looks really good. Okay, so I'm gonna do my little haul. This little ribbed workout tank that I'm wearing was one of the Nike finds. And then I got a sweatshirt that matches. And I love this one so much, the way they stitched it. It has like balloon sleeves towards the armpit area of the sleeve and not the actual like wrist part. And so it just fits so slouchy and cute. It's really cute with this top because when I go to dance class, I like to start off wearing layers to warm my muscles up and then I will take them off once I get a little moving and grooving. Goes with the new shoes that I got, which are my favorite part of this haul. They are so comfy. They literally feel like you're walking on a trampoline. And look how beautiful they are. I love the color. I love that it has a little bit of black so it's not just boring white and then it has like this little silver detail. And I swear, it feels like you're walking on a trampoline. It is so nice. And I, like, I'm really excited to run in them, but they're also so beautiful that I don't want to run in them because I don't want to get them ruined. But some of the Goodwill stuff that I got, I got this denim jacket that is oversized, and the brand is from American Eagle, which is one of the things I love about shopping at Goodwill is you can get really good quality stuff for super cheap instead of, like, ordering stuff off Amazon that's, like, cheap but it feels cheap like this is definitely something that'll last me a long time and it's like the perfect size it'll go with lots of different outfits 
So I'm very excited about this. And then on that same theme, I got this denim wrap dress from Billabong. And I felt like it would be really fun for dancing. And I don't exactly know where I'll wear it to, but I know I will definitely wear it out dancing with some cowboy boots. I felt like I'd get some good wear out of this one. And I got this cute little see-through button-up that has like lots of different patchworks on it. I just kind of thought it was cool. And I felt like it'd be fun for dancing because it's really lightweight. So I could wear it with like a scoop neck tank top. And I have two that are the dark, one's the dark color and one's the lighter color in it. So I felt like it would be perfect with some boots and some denim shorts. I thought that would be a really cute dancing outfit. And for a more formal situation, I found the coolest dress. I really don't know where I'd wear it to, but it is so fun. And I don't even know what to say about it. It like, it's elegant, but playful. It has, the cut of it is really cool. I don't see this cut very often. And I also magically found black heels that are so cool in my size at Goodwill. Where did I put them? Because you need to see them. Where did they go? There. They have a pointed toe, but then also the pointed seam. And then they have a block heel. So I wear these to work actually. And they're so comfy, so cute. And like, imagine this with this and like maybe some pantyhose and like my vintage Chanel bag. That is a vibe. I'm really excited about it. I don't know where I'm ever going to wear it. So if anyone has any like black tie cocktail parties, let me know. Although that's not really black tie. I, I don't know. Just someone invite me somewhere. This black skirt. And I love wearing skirts to work because I feel like it just kind of like breaks things up, looks classy, but also it's really good in the summer when it gets really hot and you don't want to wear long business pants. And especially with one like this, it'll go with a lot of different things. And in the try on video, I paired it with a t-shirt that I found at Goodwill. I probably wouldn't wear these two together, but I felt like for the try on, it was good enough. And lastly for clothes, this piece was from Pop Flex Active and it is this adorable sweat set romper vibes. And it's in a really pretty kind of mauve lavender color. And the reason I got this was actually for when I go tanning because usually I'll go tanning after work and then I'll like have to put on all my work clothes back on again and it's just not super convenient. So I wanted something I could just throw on that's like super easy to put on after tanning. And so I got this for that, but I also feel like it'd be another really nice thing to wear to dance class to like have as the warm layer while I'm stretching and warming up and then change. So those are the fun clothing things. And now I'll show you a few of the fun home things I've picked up as well as a little patio tour. So first, I feel like I filmed this already, but I'm not sure. But I found this quilt at Goodwill that is exactly what I was looking for. And I'm obsessed with that. I feel like it adds such a nice cozy layer to my bed and it is functional too. It's super warm. Then this one, I think I did get off Amazon. It's just more for decoration. Then I ordered these. 20 inch by 20 inch throws to put on the bed and I am just waiting for their shams to come in but for now I just have the white ones there and these are from this which will be fixed soon. Then I also ordered these barstool cover slips to cover up the barstools that we had. I was painting them with leather paint but it just wasn't the right color. It's like a kind of like way too gray and so I thought these looked a lot better. And then on the patio... This is a rug that I got at Target, and then the furniture I ordered from Amazon. And this also, I think, came from Amazon, this throw. It was originally going to go on my bed, but I liked it out here a lot better. Then these are from Walmart. That's also from Walmart. I put my cat's little tree out here because she does like to come outside, and I felt like this would be kind of nice if I ever want to sit on the patio and she can play on her tree. Then over here, I put a little table with a basket and I got the basket, this little maraca. It's literally just like a wooden maraca. And I put it out here just because I thought it looked really cool. Like it has no function, but I thought it was cute. And then I also got these little flowers from Goodwill. These are faux flowers. And then I ordered a citronella candle. So that way in the summer when mosquitoes are out, we can light this and not worry about them attacking us on the patio.
Looking to the place, I spot you from a race.